top. Cotton bale fire. We were talking about that earlier. This one out in Taft continuing to smolder. It's a fire that started just before dawn this morning. Yeah, and crews say the fire has destroyed a harvest worth more than $70,000. Our Brian Burns explains why firefighters are choosing to let the bales burn. I estimated about 20 bales on fire. As uh, the other units responded, the whole uh, 35 to 40 estimated were completely engulfed by them. Firefighters were called onto a field near County Road 1906 and County Road 3365 between Taft and Portland before 6 Wednesday morning. These are pictures of the flames taken by Taft Assistant Fire Chief Michael Vasquez. This is what it looked like most of the day and may still be smoldering. The manager of a nearby cotton gin says it could have easily been smoldering since harvest. It, it could be that, you know, the the machine maybe you know picked a rock up in the field, you know something like that, and just the 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 friction you know ca calls a spark, you know, and it can you know be in the bale and it can sit there for a couple of days and then just you know break out. While these rolls of cotton continue to burn, firefighters will remain on the scene just to make sure it doesn't spread. But firefighters said there's no danger of a water shortage. And so that's why I made the decision with the resources I had between Sitton, Odom, Gregory, and ourselves uh, just to let it uh, burn out. It's not that there's a lack of water. We can always go to town and get the hydrants refilled with our tankers. It's just it wears out the, our, our personnel. We were told this is a tough year for producers because of the drought and at over a dollar a pound, each roll could be worth more than $2,000. But most harvests are insured. Chief Vasquez says they can handle any calls that come in, but the only shortage they deal with is manpower. Go to your volunteer fire department. We always need help. From San Patricio County, Brian Burns, 3 News. Thank you, Brian. Meantime